Hello everybody and welcome back. Oh my god, this is so fucking cute. Jason Hendricks is going down the street with his son Lewis in the stroller. Oh, I love how NPCs can do this. How adorable is that? Oh, I love it. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. But welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations Loud Music Challenge. <laughs> no, Leprosy Challenge. And oh my god, Evelyn is having an affair with this guy named Deshaun Lancaster. So I mentioned this in the last episode, I think it was, or the episode before that, but I actually bumped up the chances of Sims having an affair just to kind of make the plot, you know, thicken the plot a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. And I said that I don't think in story progression it'll actually say so-and-so is having having an affair with so-and-so. I think you kind of just have to know who the sim is with, who the married sim is, is uh, married to, and then kind of pay attention to whoever story progression says that they've been flirting with. And so, for example, we know Evelyn just got remarried to Jupiter, so... Yeah, she is having an affair, apparently. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have Soleil come over and teach his son Declan uh, how to walk, and then we'll have his mom, Megan, teach him how to talk once Soleil is done. And it's just a pretty chill Saturday right now. Casey is over here watching some television, watching some- I don't- what is he watching? What channel is this? I can't even tell. You can watch fi fishing, which is really cool, actually. I've never watched the fishing channel or the gardening channel. It's interesting. I really don't ever thumb through these, honestly. I pretty much just ha have my Sims watch whatever they want to watch. This is weird, though, because he's not looking in the direction the television is in. And I'm pretty sure they're supposed to, but whatever. All right, so what can we do? Oh, we need to have Megan go over and dance at Perfect Paradise Pool. So she got this really weird opportunity. Wait, what? <gasps> Perfect Paradise Pool is a dance club? Since when? Okay, that's a messed up setting. Um, I think it's because there is a professional bar here. If you want this professional bar populated, you have to have it set to being a dance club that's so weird i didn't touch that at all that's just so fucking weird though you know i was wondering why she got the opportunity to dance at the at the pool at the public pool but i guess it's kind of an it does make a very interesting dance club doesn't it like having it at a pool i don't know i think it's kind of interesting all right so anyway what is she doing oh rashid is very angry with bridget Oh my god. Okay, why don't you guys come over and woohoo? <laughs> what is this? Being ignored. It hurts a bit when someone doesn't want to talk to you, but who can predict the moods of teenagers? I guess it's Rashid being an asshole to Bridget, which is kind of sad because Rashid is uh, Christine's brother, so uh, it's awkward. Okay, these guys are gonna woohoo. Um, Christine thought she was in here to read a book, but no, these guys are actually gonna woohoo. So if you could leave Rashid, that'd be really nice, actually. Uh, if you would exit the room, I would much appreciate that. I'm gonna have these two make out. We'll do a little bit of foreplay before they just hop right into the hop right into the deed <laughs> um the good thing about having bridget date a female is obviously bridget can't get pregnant so that's actually much appreciated much appreciated because i don't have to worry about don't have to worry about that what is he requesting oh he's what did he just request to play video games with his mom i'm confused it said listen to request when i moused over it i don't know what was being requested but okay whatever i'm gonna trigger a woohoo with these two now uh this is so awkward <laughs> this is just so fucking awkward her brother is in the same room as her making out with her girlfriend on the bed um yeah not all about oh god and then her dad walks in guys get out leave oh my god they're arguing <gasps> ew why are we ew Oh my god, we're wooing with her brother and her dad in the same room. What the fuck? What? Why 
Why didn't you guys shoo them out? Oh, he did not like that silly face that he just made. It, that doesn't even matter. What? I'm- this is disgusting. This is ab actually disgusting. Okay, well, she's gonna just exit the room now. Um, Darlene decided to walk into- why is she laughing? Darlene's like laughing at Bridget. Christine just bolted out of the room. She's turning off the stereo because she's a frugal sim, I think. Like, what are you laughing at, Christine? Are you serious right now? Oh my god, what is going on? No, she's running to the- I'm just- there's- she just keeps running everywhere. I don't know why that's happening. Anyway, Christine is making what appears to be a peanut butter and jelly. I think that's what this is, so. Christine? Did I just call her Christine? I met Bridget. So, all right. Well, I'll let her continue doing that. That was a really weird progression of events. Um, he wants to discover the Radical Riparium Potion, which we can do. I'm gonna have him quickly- oh, never mind. I was gonna have him answer the phone, but I guess not. Whatever. Speaking of him, we should probably have him throw a fundraiser party. Oh, he made some Blu-ray pancakes for everyone. How nice. How nice of Soleil. I'll have him answer his phone too here really quickly to see who, who it is, what they want. Uh, work out for four hours. That's easy enough. And I do like to have my Sims work out periodically because I just like them to be in good shape. You know, it's always nice being in good shape. All right. Did he... Oh, I think he canceled out his teaching Declan to walk because he was super duper hungry. But Declan's going to go in his diaper really soon. So I'm going to just wait for him to be done and then I'll keep an eye on him to make sure he doesn't go in his diaper because it's honestly just a waste if I have him ignore uh, Declan's need to go pee pee so I'll just see if I can catch it let's see I don't know if he's gonna I think he's gonna pick him up just as as he goes in his diaper possibly come on make it make it make it make it come on I believe in you I believe in you, Declan. You can hold it. You can hold it. Yay! Okay, he held it. Very nice, Declan. Good job, buddy. Learning how to use the potty. Hooking up is the, is the easy part. What? They decided to go steady? What? 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 Why? Wait, 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 wait. What happened to Jupiter? I'm confused. Did the game delete Jupiter? He still lives here, right? I am so confused. Where Jupiter isn't even on. Okay, this is so weird. So you're telling me, you're telling me. I worked super hard. Of course, she wants to have another child. I worked super hard to get them married, to get Jupiter moved out, to get him moved in with his wife, to, for Evelyn to repair the relationship. And then he just disappears from the universe. Like, are, are, ya, are ya for real right now? I swear, I worked so hard to make sure everything happened right and in the correct order, and then this happens to me. Okay. Well, I don't know where Jupiter went. I think he's still in the world. I I might have to make him not a ghost or something for the game to register that he's an actual sim. I don't know. It's a weird situation. I'm quite confused. Okay, why are you talking to... She's got the baby in her arms. Yuan. She's got Yuan in her arms and she's just talking to her son. All right, interesting. Now he wants to go talk to Soleil, so I guess we can have him go and do that. Why don't you just go and chat or go give him a little hug? Too many sims, too few beds. Vivian Vasquez has decided that it would be best if someone took the initiative and has moved out. Wow. I mean, I guess that's nice for the, her, her, them, whoever it is, because... It's always nice to like spread your wings and get your own place. I'm sure Bridget is probably a little bit into- Why is Christine running everywhere? I don't understand. Now they're just dancing together, just jamming out. All right, I'm gonna have her introduce herself to Clark because that's Christine's dad. Man, why is everyone laughing at me? And also, why am I being hunted? It's like, Someone in here is a vampire, but obviously- Oh my god, she can ask for her daughter- for his daughter's hands! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, my heart just melted! That is adorable! 
So this is another interaction that comes with generations asking for someone's hand in marriage. Um, I'm definitely going to do that. I don't want them to get married quite yet, but I guess we'll have to see. You know, maybe when Bridget gets a little bit older, when she ages up to a young adult, we'll have her ask for Christine's hand. Christine is like a couple days younger than Bridget, I'm pretty sure. So I'll probably wait until Christine ages up into a young adult as well and wait for them to get married at that point she's running everywhere i think that's a glitch although oh he just put a he just put a whatever this uh whoopee cushion that's what it's called whoopee cushion down unfortunate for whoever sits on there and i'm gonna go back over to soleil so i'm gonna have him throw the fundraiser party at on uh, sunday sorry so megan bella says alvira oh sure Okay, I'll go over to Elvira's. I'm gonna hand off the car out of Bridget's inventory just and give it to Megan because I swear to God, you like have to have it in their inventory in order for them to use it. I don't know why that is. But it is nice for her to go and go over to her mom and dad's place. So we'll have her head over there. We probably should like take Casey or something, you know, to meet his grandparents, but it's okay. As long as we have Soleil home to watch the babies, I'm completely fine with that. And I'm going to have Soleil continue to teach Declan how to walk. Just so I can kind of rattle off the babies and make sure that they all learn their skills and stuff like that. I'm pretty good at remembering. Although, when we start having more and more kids, it's definitely going to get a lot more hectic. And it's going to take a little bit more for me to organize when I'm having everyone like learn their skills and stuff like that. So we'll see. Uh, Megan is now heading over there. It's too bad Bridget missed out the team members. Oh, shit. She was supposed to do her debate club activity and I completely forgot. So the debate club activity is one of those things when you're age close to aging up to a young adult. It like prompts you to go and kind of do like the end all be all ac final activity. And I completely forgot to do it because... I just didn't remember, I guess. So, oh, fuck. I should have had her done it. Because, I mean, I guess we'll have Casey to do it as well. But still, it's it's fun to have all your Sims kind of celebrate. They get, like, a little trophy and that sort of thing. So, it's nice. But it's fine. Okay, she doesn't even know Yesenia, which is really weird to me. Why? She also doesn't know Francis, which is even weirder. She definitely knows Francis. Like, she grew up with Francis in her household. But I can't understand why Yesenia, because Yesenia is kind of a new addition to the family. And she's taking photos of her older sister. And Francis is as well. Okay, that's weird. I wonder if it's a little bit weird because Megan's no longer a vampire, yet that's like surrounded by vampires. And she's being hunted by one of her own siblings from unfriendly vampire my guess it's that it's vlad oh vlad is yelling at yesenia all right yeah not yelling but like laughing maniacally at her interesting pansy aged up to an elder which is so sad that means pansy and darren are gonna pass away soon oh that makes me so sad bridget's home now welcome home bridget you need you need a a shower or a bath or something i don't know i'm gonna just have her go and go take a shower. I'm gonna give Megan the car back so that she doesn't try and take a stupid taxi on her way home. Manny Bell has been losing interest in Sharita Irwin. How unfortunate. Enthused about technologically advanced car. Interesting. I've never done that before. Oh, Vlad is trying to tell a ghost story by the pool. I should probably bulldoze this lot and like move them back into a different place because... I just think it's a little silly that they live in like this really rundown motel. It doesn't really fit the aesthetic of The Sims. It's I wish this actually functioned as a motel and like I could set it to being run down and like abandoned and then they moved into it. I mean, it, it fits the aesthetic of them because they're vampires and like vampires I feel like are always characterized by living in kind of like dungy and dungy. I mean, grungy, <laughs> grungy and like dirty places, but I don't know why. I just don't, I don't appreciate this motel at all. And I have a couple of houses that I could place down that are, that would fit the aesthetic still of being a vampire. I don't know. I have to 
do it off camera or something. Um, just so I'm not like consuming time. She's reading Murder in Pleasant View. I feel like my sims are always reading Murder in Pleasant View. They seem to be like attracted to that specific book out of all books <laughs> in The Sims. Casey has been doing the slide all day long. No one ever saw the phantom while deer in town or white deer, phantom white deer in town again. And Declan learned how to walk. So congrats to little Declan. He wants to go and tickle his son, so I'll let him do that. Let's see. Tickle. And he also wants to make sure Declan ages up well, which I think is super cute. We can definitely do that. Oh, he just became friends with him. Cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then I'm going to have him go over to, first of all, let's have him put all these discs into the storage database. And also then we'll have him go and read... I was gonna have him read a pregnancy book, but it doesn't appear that he has one right now. So I'm gonna have him go over to the library. I know it's like 11.30 at night, but I'm too cheap to actually buy the book, especially when we're kind of low on money as it is right now. Listen to plot. Is he about to tell his daughter that his mastermind plot? And now Yesenia is trying to chat with her. <laughs> it seems like when Megan's over, everyone just like clings to her everyone wants to chat with her maybe it's because she doesn't come around too often oh you're why are you taking the baby with you oh i did not no no i didn't mean for you to take him why i don't know why he so just did that go and give him a bottle and then change his diaper i don't know why he just trying to do that okay we're gonna then hand over the car to soleil so he doesn't try to waste money with a taxi um i feel like the cars are a lot more effective if you don't have them placed out in the garage like this oh he's going to go use the the stroller with yuun so <laughs> all right whatever and then i'm gonna have him oh he wants to throw a birthday party for yuun okay Speaking of parties, we need to have him throw a party by the phone, um, the fundraiser party. I'm gonna just throw it at our house and hope it was about technically- I'm, I'm just never used that interaction before, so it's weird that I keep seeing it like pop up every now and then. Alright, well I guess Bridget can watch the babies. I mean, they're relatively all tired, minus Yuan, who's kind of- really energized but it's okay we're gonna set the party for 5 p.m it's gonna be formal attire we're gonna invite all the people that i think would have quite a fair amount of money for some reason soleil isn't on here Ugh, that really is annoying i feel like he's in a void state i'm gonna have to like fish him out of there it's because he's a ghost i know it is i never even thought that, that that would be a problem but i guess it is annoyingly enough um so i'm just gonna invite all the people that I think have a fair bit of money in their in their bank balance. We're gonna invite Darlene, we'll like Clark, just you know, Manny possibly she has some money. Melissa for sure. Melissa used to have a soft spot for Soleil back in the day, and the campaign fundraiser will start at 5 p.m. So we're gonna have Soleil head over to the Grand Canyon. Is that saying great Grand Canyon? Wow, Grand is that isn't that copyrighted? The Grand Canyon? I feel like that would be copyrighted don't you guys <laughs> i'm gonna have megan go and use the restroom here really quickly um who's booing me is someone booing me i don't see anyone in this room minus vlad and i don't think vlad was booing me i didn't see him boo me all right well soleil is going over there now and he wants to hire a maid i would like to hire a maid as well soleil but i don't think you quite have enough money to do so so you might have to just stick it out and not have the maid for the time being. I'm hoping Soleil reads this book that I'm supposed to have him read relatively quickly. Let's see if I can even find it. It's supposed to be- there's like no one here right now. It is dead. <laughs> it is dead here. I wonder if I can have him just read it on his tab cast. No, I can't. It's because it's not in his inventory, which is understandable. Or in, you know, one of his bookshelves back at home. Hopefully I can find it. Okay, totally- totally preggers and expecting mother's tale. I feel like that's a staple in the- in the community of people wanting to read pregnancy books. I, I wish someone would actually make this book in real life and kind of like make a parody of it. That'd be really freaking funny. 
I don't know why. Okay, I think he's yeah, he's rereading it. So he might be here for a little bit. It doesn't show the progress bar after you've already read it once. I really wish it did. I'm sure there's a mod somewhere out there that does display the progress bar of the book, you know, after you've already read it once, which would be helpful. And I probably should install that mod. I just don't have it right now, so whatever. Okay, she's gonna go and take a bath and then she's gonna head to bed. And she has a busy day ahead of her tomorrow because of the campaign fundraiser party. I'm excited for that. For some reason, whenever Bridget goes to bed, it doesn't set her, doesn't turn her lights off. Um, I'm gonna manually turn off her room lights. There we go. Just to make it look a little more realistic that she she wouldn't be sleeping with her lights on unless she's like scared of the dark or something and i mean her little brother has his lights off if she if he has his lights off then oh there's flies around this i was like wondering what this was but they were flies uh, i was gonna say if, if her little brother has his lights off bridget can have her lights off too like there is there is no reason <laughs> Aro Bell just doesn't know when to let go after getting dumped by Cricket Irwin. He has been seen loitering around her home at all hours. Wasn't Aro's dad, Jupiter, doing the same thing to Evelyn? I'm pretty sure he was. He was, like, creeping around her property after they had already gotten divorced. Like, a weirdo. Alright, Soleil is dead tired. He's gonna head home now. I was wishing that he would complete that pregnancy book wish... But it's okay if he doesn't. It's fine. It's fine. He's gonna take his car and just zoom on home here. They have the new car smell moodlet because, as you guys know, Jupiter stole the car from then them when he when he went to go and move out because he's a freaking scorch. I can't believe he did that. Little scorch you are, Jupiter. And Megan just got into bed now. Uh, let's check on the oh the tub's broken. I'm gonna check on the babies here. It's, I mean, Declan could use a bottle and his potty tra potty training potty training, I guess. Uh, and Ev Ewan could. I almost called him Evan. Ewan. <laughs> Ewan could use some social. If you guys don't know, we had Ewan in the last episode, and I didn't know how to say his name before. Like I put his name in our family, you know, our family database because he is in the family now um but I didn't know how to say it before but then I there was this actor called Ewan McGregor who acted in like a bunch of Star Wars movies and among other things he's a very famous actor so you might know him from that but his name is Ewan and I had to like watch a bunch of videos trying to figure out how the hell to say his name but I managed to figure it out now so I'm glad about that and it's a really cute name i really do like the name yuan it just there's like a little bit of a learning curve for for his name for sure um i'm gonna wake up megan and she's gonna come over and because there's like kind of a time limit here i'm gonna have her first potty train declan and you know what i just noticed declan is a irish name yuan is an irish name and yet none of my sims are irish like i'm pretty sure in my head canon Megan is like Italian or some type of white, or maybe like Swiss, I don't know, around that region <laughs> in Europe. Um, and then Soleil, his mother was like straight from China, so he would be Asian and I guess he'd be white as well. So, I mean, he could be Irish white. It just depends, I guess. It just depends. Anyway, uh, Bridget's here. She put some food in the food processor, which I love when they use the food processor because this item is actually missing from Sims 4. And I don't know why, but it just makes me feel really accomplished like when they use items that aren't typically used. Oh, he's going to bake a blueberry muffin. Oh, how cute. Maybe we could have him do a little bit of a bake sale or something today. Um, he just hasn't done one, so... I do have him, I had him buy that baker's half dozen stand and he hasn't even used it and he ages up in a day. So it's Megan's birthday today as well. She's aging up to an adult. So perhaps at the party tonight, we could have her, you know, celebrate her birthday with a campaign fundraiser. It'll be like a campaign fundraiser slash Megan's birthday. <laughs> I couldn't think of what else it was for a second. Um, so she just made strawberry pancakes. She made nice quality ones too. I'm proud. And her little brother, instead of eating her nice pancakes, made some blueberry muffins. Look at that. How cute are those? Oh, they're nice quality too. Good job, Casey. I'm actually fairly surprised. 
They both made really nice meals. She made some strawberry pancakes. He made some blueberry muffins. Seems nice. Seems nice. Oh, poor Megan is just... Gotta take care of her children. She must be exhausted. She had to wake up in the middle of the night to take care of her babies. I'm gonna have her change Declan's diaper here really quickly and then I'm gonna send her back to bed. Although she is really hungry, so perhaps I'll have her eat some of Bridget's pancakes before we had have her head off to bed. And yeah, you need a shower, dude. You stink. I'm gonna have him go use the bathroom. And then we'll probably have him go and make up some muffins and then he can sell them at like the park or something like that today he does want to go to the swimming pool but i'm pretty sure because the swimming pool got randomly set to being a dance club i think it got set to he can't go there because he's a kid so <laughs> it's a bit of a problem bit of a bit of a slip up with setting that lot to be a uh dance club but the positive i guess the the upside is that now there's like a bartender that will be there you know what i mean it won't just be some kind of like dead area where no one goes i feel like the the pools in particular are, are kind of useless up until when you get island paradise or and or seasons i feel like seasons more so seasons adds a lot of a lot of cool stuff to pools. I'm gonna have him call for services and he's gonna hire a, I might have him just hire a one-time maid instead of a recurring maid. Can you do one-time maids in Sims 3? I think you can. I know you can in Sims 4. I know I keep talking about Sims 4, but I play it whenever I have like a Sims 3 save going on. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so you can do a recurring one. Oh no, you can only do a recurring one. Okay, hmm. All right, whatever, we'll have him hire one. The house is a freaking mess, so we really need it. And cleaning your home would be my pleasure. I'll be there in no time to get it cleaner than it's ever been before. Oh, he's going to go take care of his little bro- her little brother. Oh, how cute, okay. He needs to go use and grab some, I mean, go grab some breakfast. And then we'll have him go and repair this over here, unless she has repair skill. Oh, she has repair skill and she needs it for work. So I'll have her go and repair that. And all right, what does Bridget, what can Bridget do? She wants to do a strength workout. So I'll have her go and do that using the stereo. What are you doing? He's going to go clean the shower. Oh, did you mess up those? Wait, where, where did his muffins go? Uh, Where did you put your plate of muffins? Didn't I just have him bake muffins? Like, it took the money from me, yet these aren't them. Because these ones are expired. These ones are spoiled. Okay, I'm going to pay attention this time and have him see see where I had him put these muffins. Because I swear I had him do them. I swear. I swear it. I swear it. Alright, she is so exhausted. She needs to head right back to bed. Oh, she's getting a phone call. Watch well, it be like someone asking her to come over. Just like, I'm exhausted. I had to wake up at freaking three in the morning to take care of my babies eh, i guess that's the downside of having babies right you gotta wake up early and take take care of them elvira wants to chat sure sure mom i'll chat with you before i head back to bed um and she needs to be well rested for Sully's party obviously she needs to entertain so he wants to improve his athletic skill i wonder if that has anything to do with him oh there are the muffins okay perfect he just brought them out okay don't stop, stop. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I was clicking on Casey's. Casey, Casey, stop. Casey, wait, wait, wait. Come, <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have him put these in his inventory. Here. Oh, he has them in there. Oh, he just burnt the first ones. Okay, well, let's have him bake um, another plate of blueberry muffins. People buy these really quickly. Like, if you have the, the baker's dozen stand or whatever it's called, they buy them so freaking fast. It's actually really nice that you sell them that quickly. But... On the downside, uh, you you basically make a bunch of them. Like, you take your time to make a bunch of them, and then in 0.2 seconds, you're already back at home trying to make more. So it's kind of a kind of a bad thing that they sell so quickly. I, I like to stock up on them, but they still just sell really quick. He wants to sell a baked good. I'm going to cancel it, take a class in logic, because he definitely will sell at least one. Uh, whether there's a lot of people at that public lot or not. Oh, look, he made oh, he made great quality ones. Good job, Casey. I'm proud of you. Okay, so now he can make sugar cookies and chocolate chip cookies. So we'll have him bake some of those. I feel bad for this poor maid. She's got quite a lot of work ahead of her. 
and our disastrous, disastrous uh, house that looks like a freaking, I don't know, truck ran through it or train ran through it, whatever the expression is. Um, he's gonna come back in here and go take a little bit of a nap. The babies are completely fine. In fact, Yuan will be going to sleep soon. Bridget could probably also use a little bit of a nap before she heads off to her dad's party, which I don't know why I said heads off because it's literally at her, at her home, at her residence, so should be fine. Um, why did I have her? Oh, she wanted to do a strength workout. Okay, perfect. Well, she got her strength workout done, so I'll have her just do a basic workout at this point. She was not big, not breaking a sweat before, so her uh, fatigue was going a little bit slower. But now I'll have her go at a regular pace just so that we make sure that she's done before the party. Look at all these beautiful cookies he's making. Like, these ones are great quality. He's honestly a chef. Maybe we should have him be like in the culinary career or something when he grows up. What is he? Good sense of humor, inappropriate, and rebellious. I mean, those might not be such great traits to have in the culinary career, but <laughs> it works out, I guess. It works out. All right, and after this baked good, we will have him head over to... Where should we have him go? Maybe we should have him either go to the Civic Center Park or... You know what? We haven't gone to Palms Park. I had... I renovated that lot and, like, I never use it. Why is it taking so much money away from me? I know it's because he's, like, making food and stuff, but still, it, like, took so much money. Three is a crowd. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put those into his inventory. Why is the baby crying? Why are you crying? Look, watch, he'll be, yeah, he's completely fine. Absolutely fine. You know what, go and play with your imaginary friend doll. Oh wait, it's not even his doll, it's, it's Yulun's. Okay, go, just go do something. I don't wanna hear you crying, honestly. That's like the last thing I wanna hear right now. All right, so he's heading over to Palms Park. He's got his bacon's half dozen stand over in his inventory already. He's got lots and lots of baked good in, goods in here. And the good thing about this lot is it's right down the street from his house. I can feel that there's a sim that's stuck right now. They probably got stuck with their routing because... My game is like freezing every couple of like every 10 seconds. Do you guys feel that? I can feel it. There's definitely oh lovely. There's like no one here. No one here. Oh, there's some there's some butterflies. Damn, there's so many butterflies. There must be butterfly spawners or something on this lot. Um, so we're gonna have him come over and we're gonna place down this right here. And oh wait, I can I hope that I can pick this back up. Yeah, I can put that in inventory. Okay, so we're gonna stock the baked goods. I'm not gonna have him catch the butterflies, although it was a cute idea at first, but then I realized he has to go to each location and actually catch them. And Declan learned all his all that he can from the peg box. And look at how many baked goods he has out. Um we're gonna set all goods. Oh, please enter the price that you will charge. So he spent I think five. Uh, you know what? Let's upcharge the shit out of these and we're going to charge 50 simoleons. We'll see if he makes any sales. I don't think he probably will, but we spent so much money, so much time, so much effort. The least that they- oh, I just saw flies go, go on it. The least that they could do is- yeah, look, he's got great quality, great quality, horrifying quality. I don't know if anyone will buy those. He has nice quality, great quality, and great quality. So if any Sims decide to show up, which I hope that they do, is there like a way that I can spawn Sims? I don't know why at public lots I have a problem with no Sims spawning. Let's see, let's survey the area. Is there, oh, is there a Sim coming? Oh, oh, we have a customer. Wait, is this Omar? Omar Matlapin? Yes, it is. Okay, he's a rich Sim. Oh no, this is Darren. Oh, I guess they have the same hair. They both have like dreadlocks, don't they? Darren, I need to change his clothes because he looks like a freaking mess. But look at that. We know Darren. Yes, you're our dad's best friend, Darren. You have to come. Okay. Just, why are you, why are you? He was like walking by us. Okay, come on, Darren. We got to sell it. Show off. Show, oh, I don't want to show off badges. Help customer. Okay, will you get your first sale? Oh, he wants one. Vanilla muffin? You want a vanilla muffin? Or everything you have here is too expensive. <laughs> Can I click? Did I, he make any money? No, he didn't. I don't think. I don't think he- Okay, well- uh, Okay, well, fine. Um, 
We'll bump it down to 20 then. Everything can be bumped down to 20. We spent so much money making, so much money, more so the time. We spent too much time making everything. And Darren, like, oh wow. Darren, really the only reason that you came here is to call our stuff too expensive and then leave. All right, whatever, Darren. Fuck you then. Fuck you. All right, we have another unsuspecting victim over here. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Uh, Oh my gosh, you asshole. Why would you interrupt? Oh my gosh, we just lost a customer because this little asshole decided to get up off the table for some fuck all reason. I don't know why I did that. Damn you, Casey. Okay, maybe this woman with her son. Oh, Piper. Piper Sparks with Lewis uh, will want to buy some baked goods, perhaps. There's like no Sims here. I'm actually kind of pressed about it. Can I like debug Sims over? Let's see. Go here in style. Um, no. I more so just want to teleport some NPC. Please. Oh, who is this? Darla Hudson. Perfect. Okay, we have Adriana Tanner. We have more customers now that I cheated someone over here. <laughs> um, I hope Darla comes and buys some baked goods. Alright, help customer. Will you buy some, Adriana? Maybe she'll be like, it's too expensive. Oh, she thinks it's... How is this too expensive? What? Oh my god. How much? 10? Is 10 for all of them okay? I'm so confused. I know like the default price was like 7, but if we make it 7, we would only make like a profit of 2 simoleons, which is very disappointing and not what I want. I want to make a big profit margin. Casey's all about that business ownership. He wants to make the baked goods and sell them and get a nice profit from it. Oh, she's not even here to like buy my baked goods. She's here to like go to the toilet with her daughter or her son in her arms. <laughs> I'm really confused. Okay, Megan needs to wake up. Like his party is literally in an hour and the guests are about to arrive. Okay, Pansy Dreamer, your husband just came through and didn't want to buy any baked goods. Let's see if you will. Oh, never mind. She's going to go and sleep on the bench. Never mind. She's getting up to come and buy a baked good. Never mind. She's changing into her sleepwear and leaving. This is so weird. Like, why call over? Oh my god. He sold none. I remember, I remember distinctly that Sims would make like so much money from doing these. You know what I mean? last time I did these, I mean, I guess there's- Abriel is like, oh my god, why does he keep- I'm so mad that he keeps interrupting and now we just lost another customer. Oh, never mind, we're good. Help customer? Oh, he's booing me. She's booing me. Why are you booing a 10-year-old, you freak? You're a weirdo. I don't like this person. Okay, call over. Wait, call her over. Call her over. Come here. Come here, Abriel. I want your business. I want your money. Wait, is she coming? Oh, she's coming over. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. Wait, wh why do you keep interrupting the tend the table? I'm actually about to lose my fucking mind. Show I can't even, like, ask her if she wants to buy anything. Like, this is actually infuriating. I don't have the time for this. He needs to actually try and make a profit at this campaign party, so... All right. Oh, you know what? Pansy came over because... Um, it is her time that she got invited to the party. I start to hear, like, the wood. Someone's cutting wood outside. It's, like, super duper loud. I can hear it. And they live, like, down the fucking street. Run away? Oh, she's running away from Vlad. Dude, that's your grandpa. Why are you running away from him, you weirdo? Go introduce yourself to him. Oh, Declan went in his diaper. Okay, go and change his diaper. Come on, Megan. Oh, this is frustrating. You know what? Someone else will take care of my baby. I need to work on finessing money from these people. Um, let's ask Darren for... Oh, wait. Who is this? Wait, is this Omar or Darren? Okay, it's Darren. Why does Darren have a different hair for different outfits? I'm confused. He needs to, like, have that, like, little lock checked on his... On his create a style or something. His create a hair or whatever it's called. Alright, he's still tending the table at the park, so... I'm completely fine with that. I just don't know why he keeps- Every time he, like, gets a customer, he interrupts the fucking interaction. And look at that! He made 9,000 simoleons! Okay, no one wants to hear crying, baby. Take care of him, please, and thank you. Alright, then we'll go over and feed 
him on the floor. There we go. And, oh, maybe he could play some guitar. He wants to improve his guitar skill. Perhaps he could play the guitar and kind of, like, finesse some tips from these people. Um, oh, wow, he knows, like, every song. I think he's, like, level 10, right? Oh, he's level 9. So improving his skill will actually make it so that he levels up, which is nice, to max level. Megan is over here using the restroom. We're gonna have her come over and- Wow! Manny just threw it back. Um, we're gonna have her come over and serve up some fish and chips. I think no one in this party is a vegetarian, so we should be fine if we serve fish and chips. And here's Melissa over here. Hey, Melissa! Melissa is Megan's- Oh my god. That was so loud. <laughs> Melissa is Megan's vampiric sister, her vampire sister. Um, but listen to this nice song that he's playing. How nice! He's like serenading everyone. Wait, why did you- Why are you leaving the lot? He's like leaving the lot without grabbing the table. Are you stupid? Okay, he's gonna take all those baked goods. So he sold nothing, by the way. From what I remember, they sell them really quickly. Maybe it's because I didn't have like any expansions installed and he was just selling them super fast. But what the fuck? Like he sold absolutely nothing and I'm kind of upset about it. Every fucking time someone came over to try and buy something, he just exited the damn interaction out and it really grated on my nerves and I never want to do that again. It was just a giant waste of time, but at least we got that experience in, right? Like, now we know never to have our child <laughs> try and sell baked goods using that table because it was just not a good situation. Anyway, um, Soleil made a little bit of money from the campaign so far, made quite a bit from Darren. Darren is just shaking, shaking it with his wife over here. No one's p really paying attention to Soleil's guitar playing, so I'm gonna have him try and finesse a little bit more money from some unsuspecting victims like for example pansy <laughs> um hopefully pansy will want to donate some money i mean they used to be good friends at one point or another so maybe she'll give us some money but all right everyone that needs to eat i'm gonna have them come over and just grab the fish and chips basically all of our family is freaking starving right now so they can go and eat something and then you know if anyone else at the party wants to they can as well um, Sully is going to continue to get to know her a little bit and then at the end of this long string of interactions I'll have him try and ask for a little bit of money. Oh and Megan's aging up. I forgot about that. All right. Well, Maddie, <laughs> one of your favorite sims. You just forgot about her age up to an adult. So whatever, I guess. <laughs> aging up to an adult isn't much different than aging up too young and all so congrats to megan she's now more wrinkly i guess i suspect that she's a little bit more wrinkly now um megan finally broke uh, has finally broken free of the yoke of childhood and occasionally cruel teenagers adulthood is both a memory and a license to make more memories we also have to remember that her time is wearing out a little bit like you know she's gonna she's gonna lose her ability to have any babies pretty soon so uh, i want her to continue to have more babies and look she wants to have more children too so it's a sign that her and soleil tonight after the party definitely need to try and try for a baby and look at that yesenia aged up to young adult so that means she is officially done aging um she's a vampire so she will not age up ever again good for her you know unless of course oh what a great party I had a blast i'm donating 6k to the campaign thank you vlad i appreciate it all right, so now she, he's asking Pansy for a donation and, oh, Yesenia joined the criminal career. Cool. And Pansy donated 7k for a t campaign total of 35,000. And look at that. Manny donated 7k. Um, Pansy donated on top of that, donated a seven, another 7k. Holy shit. We're making like hella money right now. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Let's have her come over. I introduce her, introduce herself to Clark. Uh, Darren, <laughs> Darren did another 7K. Barrett wants to sure. Um, Evelyn did 7K. 
Melissa donated some. Damn, there's just so much money going around right now. I'm like pleasantly surprised. I thought that if we didn't really entertain those guests, they wouldn't really donate any money. But it seems that you don't even have to talk to the guests and they'll still they'll still donate some money here and there. So whatever. All right. Well, at the end of the day, Casey still has a bunch of cookies and baked goods in his inventory. So I think we definitely need to give some of these away. Let's see if I'm able to give them to like Bridget and stuff. He can give his sister some baked goods. Wait, is he able to? I don't know if he can. Um, do I have to click on it? Give gift. Okay, perfect. We can. So he's going to come over to his dad and give his dad a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Let's see. I'm sure his dad will appreciate it. He's like, dad, look, I made this on my easy bake oven. I hope you like it, dad. <laughs> I mean, he's got so many in his inventory. He shouldn't just give them away. Doesn't really have much to do with them. So Lay's party was... Uh, awesome virgin on epic sims all around town we'll be talking about this one for years more importantly soleil has received 46k simoleons from campaign contributions and soleil says what a beautiful gift thank you so much this means oh how cute i love it all right why don't you go give one to your mom now hopefully she'll like it and wow that was such a successful party like i didn't I didn't even really entertain anyone, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't really give them any money, or any attention, sorry. They just decided to hand over a fork load, fork loads of money. Fork loads? Is that the right expression? I don't know. Forklifts. Forklifts? Is that what I'm looking for? I have no clue. All right, well, Soleil and Megan are going to try for yet another baby. Um, I'm kind of pumping them out one after- Oh, did she already eat the cookie? Oh, no, it's in her inventory. Okay, I'm just gonna stick them in the fridge then. Hopefully, they'll eat them with time. I hate when, like, the food expires in the inventory. It's, like, super annoying. But hopefully, by this way, that won't happen. I'm gonna just get rid of this baked good. Maybe he could give it to his older sister. Perhaps she'll enjoy a burnt muffin. Burnt baked good. Are you guys wooing? No. What are you doing? Hold on. Call your husband over. I know you guys are tired. I know it. I know it. Okay. But you need to have more babies before Megan's timer expires here. Because you definitely got a- you got a countdown, Soleil. You, fi you finally got a timer over her head. I mean, she's starting to get more wrinkles on her face. To be fair, he- I saw- I prevented him from aging up to an elder, but still. Okay, let's listen. Will there be the baby chimes? Please. I need some baby chimes. Hello? Baby chimes? Perhaps? Perhaps? Maybe? Yay! Okay. Wow. I feel like, you know, Megan was having fertility issues for a hot second there. Like, before, in her young adult years, she was definitely having some fertility issues. I feel like it's definitely linked to her being a vampire. Like, she most certainly was having some issues because of her vampirism. Oh, and how lovely. This stupid imaginary friend doll just teleported out of the fucking crib. Okay, I'm gonna stick it right back in the crib because... I like the imaginary friend dolls, but when- I mean, I guess all of our sims haven't had them, so pretty much Yuan is like the only kid. No, actually Yuan is the only child so far that has an imaginary friend doll, which is nice because they tend to like crowd the door- doors and stuff like that. Like they get in the way and they really cause some routing issues, but so far so good. Like we only have one so far, so we'll have to see what that is like. He ages up tomorrow or today actually today in game so i'm not gonna throw him a party or anything casey also ages up which is insane and then bridget ages up in two days so we got some major birthdays especially bridget's like i am so excited for bridget to age up into a young adult i think it's gonna be really fun i can't wait to s do more stuff with her appearance I oh elvira i forgot elvira and vlad broke up so like they're not together anymore which is really weird because they were together for a long time Oh, you're up already? Oh my god, she's up already. I guess it's because I had her take that really awkward middle of the middle of the day nap. Like, she woke up to take care of her babies a little bit, and then she just was like, yep, I'm not tired anymore, so yeet. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna end this part right here. I hope you did enjoy. I had a fun time. I've never done the campaign fundraiser before, so that was really interesting for me to explore. Let me know if you guys have ever done the campaign fundraiser. Um, I don't tend to play the political career all that much, so I think that's probably why I've never done it. And even if I do, like, 
by the time my sim gets to level 5, they're usually really focused on family and I don't really care that much about don't really care that much about uh job performance and stuff like that cuz I usually, you know, between the husband and the wife or the two spouses, I tend to go with whoever has the most easiest promotional path is who are, is the sim I focus and have them lean into their career a lot and like learn all their skills, but I guess it's because like charisma is a really hard skill to get because you it has that friendship barrier, you know, that friendship requirement. It's kind of annoying, I won't lie. It's really annoying to level up charisma, but because Soleil needs it for Golden Tongue, Golden Fingers, which by the way, he's so close to having, like all he needs is half another skill point of guitar. It's gonna be really, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Okay, I'm gonna have him use the not so routine machine and yeah everyone's just will be heading off to work and school and so forth so i hope you guys did enjoy i had a lot of fun playing this episode for you guys and we're gonna have bridget come over and eat her little brother's vanilla muffin that he so graciously made and handed off to everyone they make good uh breakfast items so i'm glad he made them actually even though we didn't sell any it's okay We'll still eat them for breakfast and stuff. So <laughs> they got used in the end. That's all that matters, right? Um, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you also enjoyed and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.